Hi there. My colleague Vincent did an absolutely cracking video last week of how to make a landscape of a map and he made a superb representation of Ayrshire on his back garden. So we're going to take that a wee bit further today and have a look and see at a brief introduction on how to actually make sense of a map and make direction make sense on a map. So what is a map? A map is really basically a representation of the ground that if you were a bird flying over Ayrshire and looked down that's actually what you'd see and all the shapes and the patterns and the contours and the lines on the map represent what a bird would see if flying over Ayrshire. So what we're going to do is actually make a map of the area that you're in at the moment. You can make it in your classroom, in your garden, any open space where there's items that you can draw. I've done mine in my garden. So take a piece of A4 paper and a pencil and literally draw a map of whatever is in the area that you're working in. As I said, I'm in my garden, so I've got a table, garden chairs, uh, flower beds, flower pots, greenhouse, dustbins. Draw them all on the map. The scale doesn't matter as long as it fits in one sheet of A4 paper. Once you've done that, we will have marked out north, so mark very clearly and in black and in big letters or colour it at the end of your drawing, your map that has got north on it. And then draw a route from where you're sitting round the various points in the garden that we have marked out. And I'll show you those in a wee second. Now here's something I've always wanted to say. Here is one I have prepared earlier. So this is a map of my garden with all the various obstacles on it and all the flower pots, the flower beds uh, on it. I have drawn a route in blue and as you can see at the far end there, I've marked very clearly which is north. So the garden is marked out like that. So we have in fact on the end here, north, and then I've gone round and I've marked various points throughout the garden so that you can see where everything is and where you're going to be walking to. One of the main points that we need to learn right from the start, and this is the whole point of this exercise, is that we need to set the map at the beginning of each journey or each leg of a journey if you can picture the fact that Ayrshire doesn't actually move, it's you that walks around Ayrshire. When you look at your map like that, you can see north is facing north. And if you imagine the map as Ayrshire, it shouldn't move either. So north should always paint point north, and then east and west and south will all be in the right place. And this is the absolute key to all successful map reading. You can set the compass, uh, you can set the map uh, simply by lining it up with the features round about you. In my case, I have a wall just there, and on my map there, there is a wall down the west side of that map. So I am setting the compass, looking at a road or a feature that you know you are, whether it's a river or whatever, and then you can set the map to it. That's the simple way of doing it. There's another very simple way of doing it if you have a compass and you can just lay the compass on your map and turn round until the red needle, the moving needle, points up to the north of your map and then that map is set as well. So as you can see in this one, north on the map is north and in fact is north in real life as well. And that's the whole idea of this, that you can set the compass uh, uh, very simply by set the map and the compass very simply by doing that. So I've marked my route out in rope on the map and I'm now going to set out and walk the route. The key point of all of this is that the north on your map that's marked on your, on your map should always face the north that's actually marked in your garden like that. And the whole idea is that 
the map isn't moving. It is you that's walking around the map. So I'm going to follow the map uh, and the route that's, that's drawn on it at the moment, but keeping the map facing north. So I'm heading off to point B. So, map still facing north as I head over to C. And then I'm heading almost south to D. And then east to E. Again, the map's always facing the right way. And then heading north, back up the route to my finishing point. Again, holding the map facing north at all times. And it's as simple as that. One of the things you can try and do is hold the map the wrong way around and then try and follow the route. And it is infinitely more difficult you'll find after the first person's had a go at this, it's well nigh impossible. It's, it, you require much more thought. The whole idea of keeping the map facing north is that everything on a map appears in the right place at the right time on the right side of you.